Hi, I'm Crystal and I'm here to talk to you all about the digital world, social media and how we can really use that to create life chances for us, to really use that space to grow our dreams and to connect with the world around us. But actually, really what I want to kind of talk more about is kind of the origins of why social media has been so useful, why the digital world is so useful. And it's allowed me to build a career so that I can stand here today and talk to you all, which is something I think, you know, we don't really think about. We hear a lot of the negatives of social media. We hear about kind of the damage that it's doing. But actually used correctly, it can be a really powerful tool and a way for us to build our dreams. I, uh, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Um, I'm not, so you don't recognize me from being in space, unfortunately. Um, I very much feel like, you know, that's probably something that isn't too far away from, uh, you know, we're seeing all these people heading into space. So fingers crossed this time next year, I'll be on a spaceship. But uh, sadly, that wasn't kind of where I ended up. But actually, what I did do was kind of follow what dreams I had and, and kind of using what was available to me at the time. And I didn't have the best chances. I didn't have the worst chances. I was definitely, you know, I went to school, I went to college, university. Um, I hated <laughs> university, actually. For me, it was one of the hardest things. I really enjoyed college. Um, and I think that actually, looking back, a lot of the experience I've had has come from the doing rather than trying to kind of fit into a box that society wanted me to fit into. So uh, for me, I really started um, when I was at university, I did journalism uh, and I picked to do broadcast. Well, I picked to do print journalism uh, and my lecturer said, look, you're not going to have a career in the next couple of years. So I highly suggest you change to broadcast. Um, and I think I was one of three students that year that picked uh, print. So we changed. We did uh, broadcast media. So uh, we learned all about this thing called new, new media um, and it was the, the next big thing and it was social media, uh, blogging. Uh, and they said, start a blog. And I said, I'm not, I'm not very interesting. Like, what, what do you want me to talk about? And they said, just talk about what you had for breakfast. And I was like, no one, no one wants to read a thing with what I've had for breakfast. Uh, and here we are, Facebook this morning, 17 people had been talking about what they'd had for breakfast and posted pictures of their Starbucks. So I feel like, you know, this is the world we live in. Um, so actually what I did was I did start a blog uh, and I started talking about anything and everything. Um, movies I liked, uh, movies that I probably didn't like quite as much as I said I liked, Jurassic Park, Alien, uh, all of the things that I thought were, you know, big kind of cult topics. Uh, and eventually what I started to realise was that I did have a real passion for writing and for communicating and actually this world now had just opened up. There was a whole world out there. Now we have moved on, it's a decade since then. We know that TikTok, video, social media, uh, and I'm not gonna stand here today and tell you that I'm the world's best TikToker. In fact, actually I'm quite confused every time I look at it, but it doesn't mean that you can't use digital media to create an opportunity for you. And actually the internet, the power of being able to connect to anywhere in the world has opened up some incredible opportunities. So what I kind of wanna talk about today is the power of that is to be able to take that next step, do that thing that you don't think you're capable of doing. So right now, I work for one of the world's biggest video game companies. I literally <laughs> see a gentleman here has just <laughs> looked up with interest. I, uh, I get to stream video games for a living. I get to talk about games that are online. And that is absolutely incredible to be able to say, that's my dream. That's the thing I wanted to do. It might not have been the thing I wanted to do when I was this big, but you know, I'm only this big now. So <laughs> who knows what I can do in the next few years. But actually, that all happened because of digital and social media. It happened from connecting to people, having honest conversations and being able to say, look, I really love this thing and I will work really hard if you give me that opportunity. So actually, a lot of life is about giving opportunities and taking chances, taking risks and not being afraid. Even standing here today, I can feel my hand shaking and I think, oh, if we just keep talking for another few minutes, you'll be fine. And then it'll be done and you've done it. But actually, it's really important that when you are kind of thinking about what you want to do, how can you take these opportunities? Get out there, put a profile up, connect with people in your local community. If it's gaming, find a gaming space, find a gaming community, talk to them if it's something else entirely. So one of my secret loves is uh, astrobiology, which isn't really a topic yet. It might be in a thousand years, but it's a bit early for that now. But I found a course for a university online. So I took the course and it said, you must have a foundation in, in physics to be able to do this course. And I thought, I'll be fine. 
I'm not fine. <laughs> it's really hard, but I'm still doing it. And I've been able to connect with a group of scientists who are doing some really incredible projects. And now I get to be a part of those projects from connecting with them. And I'm not the biggest scientist on their party. I'm not able to do all the things the rest of the people can do. But I'm here and I'm making my dream happen for my standards, for me, as I go along. And it's my narrative. And that, I think, is one of the most important things. I think we can easily exist in a world that tells us, you know, we look at the news, we look at media, and it's all absolutely terrible. And I'm not saying those things don't need attention and those things don't need us to kind of act on them. But actually, together, we can do that. And actually, the internet does give us a voice, a platform, a space to come together. But it also presents those positives. And if I could give everybody one, you know, one piece of advice today, I would say, have a think about what your dream was when you were six. And if you met your six-year-old self today, what would you say to them? Would you tell them that they're doing all the things that they wanted to do? Because every one of us in this room, when I stand here today, I think, Actually, my six-year-old self didn't really know what this was, so they probably would be like, oh, what's that? Why aren't you playing Barbies or something? But actually, it is something that has meant a lot to me in the last few years. And I think if I could give any of you any of ad advice, it would be just to step out there, create that profile, take an online course to learn how something works. Probably not TikTok. I did a TikTok course two weeks ago, and I think it's already out of date. But there are plenty of people that you can connect with. There's plenty of ways to learn new tasks, meet new people, get to new environments. I've been able to go to California, to Paris. I've been able to travel all around the UK working. All of that has come. I've been able to skip industries from beauty into gaming to fashion, even to vegan products, right the way back into all of the things I enjoy. And that's all come from being able to connect on social media, being able to really use that digital space to have a voice and to put my thoughts and words out there. And it's not something, you don't have to have gone to the best school. You don't have to have been educated in tech. I meet graduates today that have just finished their masters in marketing who know up to the minute information. And I feel like a grandma when I'm talking to them. And I'm like, oh, that's nothing like my degree was about. But actually, it's all relevant. We all have life experience. We can all learn from each other. We're all on this path together, but also very differently. And really, the internet gives us that chance to connect and to learn from one another and to make the future a better place for everybody. So any advice I can give you today is if you want to do something, if you've got a dream, get that space, get online, connect to people, and make friends with people who are going to help you have that adventure. Thanks.